Hey Scorpio, Celia, Celia's Tarot. Here we are, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love the energy spread. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love energy spread. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, subscribing, liking, following me, sharing, whatever the case may be. And I also have $20 readings across the board. I'm on every social platform under, wow, under um, Celia's Tarot. So a card already jumped out for you, Scorpio. Page of Swords. Uh, are you spying on someone? Que raro. Didn't this come out in my last reading? <laughs> okay, Scorpio, are you spying on someone or someone spying on you? I think you're spying on someone. I feel like that would be the Scorpio thing to do, huh? You're spying on someone. You want to know more about them, huh? Well, this is the love energy spread. And let's see if anything comes out in regards to that person that you're spying on. So think about that person. And then we'll see if this is the person that you're really hot and bothered about and their card fell out uh yeah all the information might come out wow what's wrong scorpio what's happening huh what's going on this is the end of everything that has been happening to you which has been detrimental the ten of swords is um it's pretty much disastrous but at the same time it can be the ten it's the end of this disastrous moment or moments that you have been going through. The 10 is the highest number of the minor arcana. And also it lets me know that you have been down and out, but it's the end of this feeling. You won't be feeling like this much longer. And that makes me very happy because I know you Scorpios are extremely passionate and loving individuals. Uh, but you also, you can have your dark side. So when this goes down and then maybe all those, I don't know, I don't like to call the words in, but uh, something like you, like you feel down and out, right? It comes in and it can come in hard. So just keep positive. Try to keep positive. This is a love energy spread for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Please give me... Um, the ability to reach out to Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for a general read. Whoever it resonates with, that's awesome. Whoever it may not resonate with, um, don't worry about it. It's just not your reading. Okay. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Thank you. Only positive energies are allowed around my reading. So this is how it goes. Your energy is here. Your love energy is here on this side. The person that you're thinking about, the love of your life is over on this side. And the middle is what the spirit guides are working on. What are they doing in regards to this connection? I will let you know. And then a potential outcome is up here, guys. That's about it. What to do, mac and cheese? All right. So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get this going. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Only positive energies are allowed around me in this reading. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you. Let's get this done for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. All right, Scorpio, think about your person. Think about the person that just shivers your timber. Scorpio, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Think about your person. This is, that's for you. Sorry, that's for you. So think about the person that shivers your timber. <clears throat> Think about that person, and this reading is maybe the one for you, may resonate for you. Let's see, Scorpio, potential outcome. You've had to have a lot of strength in some situation. This is Leo energy, so the strength card, yeah. Something's been happening. I feel like something has been happening to you guys. You, Scorpio, are literally the death card. You are the, the reincarnation of bad bitch okay over and over in every lifetime because i feel like a lot of you scorpio uh hoochie mamas you are always going through that spiritual evolvement is that the right word evolvement like naturally naturally i think you need to repeat things over and over because you guys are also <clears throat> the epitome of every single sign other sign that is out there 
made of stardust from all the other individual signs. That's how powerful you are. And if every, if every lifetime or one lifetime you don't recognize that and work with it to make changes in your life and anybody else's life around you, then you need to repeat that and go into another lifetime and create another scenario in your life which usually you're so passionate and involved in so many emotional aspects of your life that affects you sometimes, most of the time, negatively. And then you need to repeat that again. So let's see what your love energy is for the following uh, two to three weeks, give or take. Remember, a time is irrelevant in the spirit world. They don't know what 2, 3, 4 p.m. is or next week, okay? What's, what's your love energy? Remember... It is a general read. The Eight of Swords is walking away, rowing away from stormy weather to calmer weather. Stormy waters to calmer waters. You're logically and mentally saying, okay, I'm done with this. This is something that I don't need in my life. These are the maybe more spiritually elevated Scorpios that are recognizing this and know already shit. I deserve better. <clears throat> I know that this is too much emotion for me. It's like an overabundance of negativity <clears throat> that you need to walk or row away from. This will be in the next, uh, the coming two to three weeks more or less. So if you resonate with this, it's something that you may have been going through that you're like, I'm done. I'm done. You need to make a decision, but you need to take the steps to make a decision because sometimes you guys can be abrupt and make these abrupt decisions when the logic comes in. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm all like from talking so much, dry throat. So then you logically are thinking now, all right, so this is what I need to do. Maybe write down the pros and the cons of what you need to do and what you need to accomplish so that everything is in line, right? Don't let the water, the Scorpio waters, get twisted get kind of out of shape so then your person think about your person the person that you love or the person that you are um entangled with for the next two to three weeks what is their energy wow beautiful it's the king of wands the king of wands is pretty much a passionate uh individual very passionate and dedicated and determined also and i feel like look at the way that the king of wands is looking this way <clears throat> right so you are rowing away but you're rowing towards the king of wands and the king of wands is looking straight at you babe i'm looking at you kid with a lot of passion and determination and a lot of oomph and this oomph wants to be part of your life okay scorpio so oomph with a lot of passion let's see what the spirit guides in universe is working on oh seven of pentacles they're working on it but they have been working on it this is like i call it the reaping what you sow card so they are looking back and saying okay look how far we have come in working um out things for this connection so they still have a lot to work on i just heard seven months so i don't know if it's been seven months or it's going to take a few more months of working things out it is the seven of pentacles so seven months maybe it's been in the works for seven months so far maybe that's it it's it's taken them seven months to if this resonates with anybody um since you guys met or since this connection fell into place kind of sort of maybe you guys getting to know each other first <clears throat> so i think my voice just cracked so then um yeah, they're working on it, working very diligently, but taking their time too. See, this guy is looking down at the pentacles, as in, yes, also the pentacles have to be in line so that this connection can be in line. Alrighty? So a potential outcome, give or take, in the next two to three weeks. Oh my God, beautiful. The high priestess, the high priestess. Wow, Scorpio, beautiful. Very uh, delicate and tender and uh, intuitive card, a religious card. It has to do with knowledge and learning more about what you are acknowledging in your spirituality, in your world, in your being, in your own individual 
enlightenment that you need to acknowledge and know and realize that you need to learn. So this is a very positive, uh, likely towards yes, because both of you are being enlightened spiritually with all the lessons that you're learning, Scorpio, and you may or may not know it. That's another gist of these readings, okay? You may know this person and realize that something is happening in their lives and that they're changing, and but let it take its course. Let it go around towards um, turning into a, a, a fresher connection, as in maybe a friendship, and then go deep into what you call a very beautiful uh, and enlightened spiritual connection, okay? All right, Scorpio, so I'm on every social media platform. I have $20 readings, and uh, I love you very much. Please like, press that little button, share, subscribe, if you'd be so kind as to uh, subscribe, and then you can know whenever I put my videos up. And um, yeah, leave a comment, leave a comment below. I love you guys very much, and this is my passion. Thank you for watching, and bye. I love you, bye.